If you've ever downloaded your photo collection from Google using Google Takeout, you'll probably have noticed those strange little JSON files sat next door to your images. They look like digital cutter, but they're actually packed with your precious metadata. Things like the date the photo was taken, the location, and even the original file name. So some important information you want to keep. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this little data quirk with a tool called Google Photos Metadata Fixer. I'm going to walk through exactly what to do with those JSON files so your photos show the correct dates and locations wherever you decide to put your photos. And stick around to the end because I'm going to share a simple tip to keep all of that metadata safe for good. Understanding what happens when you use Google Takeout. When you download your photo collection using Google Takeout, it doesn't just give you the photo files. It also includes a separate JSON file for each image. That little file contains the original metadata from when the photo was first uploaded or taken. It includes things like the date taken, location, camera details, and lots of other lovely stuff. The issue is if you delete those little files, that important metadata is going to be gone for good. And unless you get the data back where it should be, in your actual photo files, then wherever you put your photos, none of that lovely stuff will be coming with it, as most programs won't recognize the JSON files as anything useful. Using Google Photos Metadata Fixer to merge metadata. This is where Google Photos Metadata Fixer comes in. It's a simple little tool designed to take those JSON files and embed the metadata back into the actual photo file, ready for wherever you want to put your photos. First, make sure all your photo files and their corresponding JSON files are in the same folder. Each JSON file should have the exact same name as the photo it belongs to, just with JSON at the end. Then open up Google Photos Metadata Fixer tool on your computer. Select to upload your files. You can load the zipped file you get directly from Google Photos, or if you have the unzipped file, you can select the unzipped files. Hit the next step and select the folder for your merged files to be put in. Then review the options. I just leave them all ticked and then click start. Once you're done, you can open up and check to see if there are any errors or files without dates, but also see your lovely merged files. The great news is they're a free version, so you can test it out on just 100 files, but to get the full version, you need to pay the lifetime fee, which is great as it's not a subscription model. It's that simple and it works whether you're using JPEG, PNG, or even some video files. Now, if this is the kind of thing that stresses you out, dealing with duplicates, fixing files, or trying to keep your photos properly labeled and sorted, you are not alone. This is why I created my Photo Mess Success courses. They are designed to help you take control of your entire photo collection from start to finish, including getting that data out of Google Photos, getting rid of duplicates, and setting up those all important backups. You can get the lowdown at photomesssuccess.co.uk where I'm there to help you stop feeling overwhelmed by your photos and let you finally enjoy them again. Bonus tip, keep a backup of your JSON files just in case. Even after you fix the metadata and got rid of those pesky JSON files, I recommend keeping a zipped backup of those files. You never know when you'll need to re-embed or troubleshoot metadata again. And if you've ever exported from Google Photos in the future, make sure you keep those JSON files alongside the images. They may look unnecessary, but they're your digital breadcrumbs for preserving important details. So that's how you can use Google Photo Metadata Fixer to breathe life back into your exported photos and make sure all the right details are kept intact. If you want to keep diving into photo metadata, check out this video next on how to consolidate keywords. It's the perfect way to keep your hard work in the right place. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.